Hello, good morning. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session Wednesday, the 24th of August 2016. Okay, trying to uh, decipher as to uh, which way these markets are going. Certainly has been very volatile the last two days. Certainly um, started off the week very positive, now currently negative. So trying to decipher as to what's happening here, especially with US markets hitting that potential double top uh, zone okay so in terms of uh, asian markets overnight let's start off with the uh, asian market roundup first and foremost okay we have the uh, nikkei up by 100 points we have the uh, chinese markets the hang seng and the shanghai down both down uh, in a weaker overnight we have the usd jpy still languishing at the 100 uh, region okay uh, this morning in terms of uh, social economic and geopolitical concerns we have the it earthquake in italy which is obviously a risk off uh, certainly going to hurt growth concerns in the eurozone okay uh, we've had gdp uh, data from G germany certainly coming uh, on par okay uh, we've had monte de Pachi potentially removed from the stock 600 which obviously has given the european equities a lift wpp sales certainly stronger glencore weaker glencore sales weaker uh, earthquake obviously we have kaplan uh, we had mr kaplan yesterday uh, with his hawkish rhetoric and um, other potential uh, local uh, banks as well indicating to us slanting towards the hawkish stance prior to jackson hole so again looking for looking for weakness uh, in terms of hawkish commentary from the fed okay which obviously would should certainly strengthen the dollar we have at the aussie and kiwi rally again uh or retrace again overnight or this morning on the back even though we've had weaker uh, new zealand exports and we've had weaker uh, aussie data okay Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers, www.tradesignal.com, and you can certainly download the app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Now, let's look at the actual technical factor here. Uh, before I start with the European markets, just bear in mind, uh, in terms of the US markets, you have a potential double top scenario now, okay? So, again, you have to take that into account uh, for your uh, European session. So, you have a double top on the NASDAQ at the 4840, again, indicating a potential top and reversal. S&P as well, if you look at the 60-minute chart, both indicating a potential double top scenario. So again, indicating exhaustion with potential gap fill below. Obviously, in the back of Mr. Kaplan's hawkish rhetoric, okay? And we have this situation now with Turkey entering Syria as well. Again, geopolitical concerns are going to be on the increase, okay? In terms of uh, technicals, bring up the German DAC. Daily chart still have the unfilled gap below at 10.360. That certainly needs to close, so be aware of that. Okay, daily chart really trading sideways. 60 minute chart, you are into horizontal resistance on the German DAX now. And the 10 minute chart, certainly again indicating resistance from my perspective. Okay, so you have horizontal resistance here. And you certainly have a bear, bearish engulfing candle at this uh, key pivot R1. Okay, given the fact that we've still got the unfilled gap left behind below. Again, that certainly will come into um, into motion. Stronger GDP, well, GDP data in line certainly has helped the European indices, or Euro, especially the German DAX. But again, like I said, you have the unfilled gap below, and that certainly remains a target for now. In terms of the French CAC, let's just bring up the French CAC for you. Certainly an impressive rally. Currently, I'm bearish on the French CAC, and I'm currently short. Okay, uh, Again, you have that pivot high there. Uh, this is certainly dead cat bounce. It'd be interesting to see if it can last for now. A 60 minute chart is indicating resistance, and that's where we are. And looking for a potential move lower on the French CAC. Now, the 10 minute chart, French CAC certainly looks exhausted now. Okay, looking for a thrust or a move lower. You have the unfilled gap at uh, 4455. We've hit a pivot high of 4452, so more or less closed. Okay, and again, like I said, looking for weakness here on the French CAC. Looking for a potential 4430, even down to the 200 MA at 4410. Certainly has been an impressive thrust from 4380 up to 4450. Very, very impressive. Okay. So again, looking for exhaustion here now. Okay. And looking for a reversal, folks. Okay. Okie dokie. So looking for weakness here. Now, in terms of the Europe, other European indices, let's look at the FTSE 100. Okay. Given the fact that we've had Mr. Kaplan certainly hawkish, we have the situation in Turkey and Syria. Uh, also, in terms of oil, certainly hasn't seen any real upward reaction. Still stuck at that $46 level. Okay, the FTSE certainly has been helped by WPP earnings, although Glencore certainly on the weaker side. But for now, it does look like we wanted to test the 6780. We haven't done that as of yet, so be aware of that. 
You have got a bottoming tail on the back of WPP and obviously uh, Turkey, Syria potentially helping oil as well. So bear, certainly bear that in mind, okay? But as we all know, with sterling certainly starting to rise and given the fact that lack of uh, potential rate cuts and QE from the from the BOE, again, certainly will keep the FTSE 100 under pressure, okay? 60-minute chart, you can see resistance. Uh, you have the unfilled gap at 6.870. That's probably a zone that I will certainly mo be more than happy to short the FTSE and looking for downside price action, given the fact that we have a double top on the S&P 500, okay? So bear that in mind. Let's look at the Euro stocks. Okay, here we go. Euro stocks. So again, Euro stocks into previous support equals resistance. Again, this is a chart that I'm looking to short. Okay, uh, and again, you you certainly closed the gap. You had gap fill here at uh, 3010. That certainly has closed. Okay, you've rallied from 2970 up to 3010. So certainly a 40 point rally has baked in all the good news and looking for a potential retracement now. You have the unfilled gap at 2960 below. Certainly that remains a magnet for price action to potentially move lower. Okay, be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of that 25% bonus. Goodbye now, folks.